In this Excel 2013 tutorial, we'll practice the VLOOKUP formula. Begin by typing in some information. We have some students, Bob, Sue, Jane, Henry, with uh, respective grades of 70, 55, 30, and 90. Imagine having a grade table where you define the actual uh, key change points. Zero is an F, and, and anything between uh, is uh, going to be an F until 50, where we have a new grade of C minus, and if a student hits 60, their grade is a C, and then etc. all the way to an A. Now, of course, you can feel free to change these values. So the idea of qualifying to the next level it doesn't have to be grade letters. It can be any kind of idea of qualifications, whether it be beginner, intermediate, advanced, expert. Somehow, the the idea of a VLOOKUP comes in handy. So how do we actually um, connect our values with the lookup table? We click on the cell beside the number 70 and we type in the formula equals v lookup bracket and you can see that Excel gives you a hint there's three parts to this formula. The first part is the lookup value so you actually click on the number on the actual value 70 which is B2 this column B row 2 comma the actual table array the table the table being the actual change uh, the actual values that change and as well as the uh, corresponding result that we want to spit back comma finally we return the actual column do we want column 1 or do we want column 2 I don't want to spit back a number, I want to spit back the actual letter. So you spit back column 2, end bracket, and press enter. Notice how the number 70 uh, does fall into the C plus range, and if you actually change the number 70 to a uh, 75, it remains a C plus. If you change it to a 65, it becomes a C. If you change it to a 99, it becomes an A. If you change it to a 33, it becomes an F. So the idea of, of using a formula is very powerful because as soon as you automatically, as soon as you make changes, the actual lookup result automatically uh, spits back uh, the, the letter. It doesn't have to be a letter. It can be a pass-fail note, whether the student passes or fails. All right, so let me just change it back to 72. We get a C+. Plus. Now this is kind of painful to have to do this over and over again. I could, if I wanted to, type in equals v lookup bracket, the actual number, so click here, comma, highlight the table, comma, I want to return the second uh, column. Press enter. This is kind of painful. So some bright students might actually go click here and drag out the bottom uh, right corner, but something messes up. So in a previous uh, tutorial, we talked about absolute first relative cell referencing. So this is where we actually do need to use use this idea. So I'm going to press Control Z. So let's go back to the first formula, which became pretty darn close. So the thing is that as you drag the bottom right corner and try, we as we attempt to try to do autofill, the problem is that let's try it. You can see that right now the lookup table is A8 to B13. A8 referring to this corner, B13 referring to this corner. From here to here is our lookup table, and this lookup table never changes in location. However, when we actually drag it down, because Excel is using relative cell referencing here by default, uh, the look what happen, happens at this last lookup table. A11, A11 is here, to B16 is the whole lookup table is getting shifted down. That's the problem. So therefore, I'm going to highlight this and go here, and I'm going to lock this lookup table. So as you click here and click up in the formula bar and add all these dollar signs, it basically means we don't want to change any columns or rows ever for the lookup table. Press Enter. And now, as we actually lock the columns and rows for the lookup table, and you drag the bottom right corner, all the actual corresponding letter grades are now correct. So hopefully you um, got some good practice here with a lookup table. This is one of those common type of questions that you uh, that you get in the technical interview about your Excel skills, just to uh, separate uh, the beginners from those who actually have some experience with Excel. Congratulations.